I'm Blair Gilbert from MrHardware.com and Gilbert's Pro Hardware in St. Clair Shores here to show how easy it can be to change an old dog drum style humidifier to a Michigan May general flow through style humidifier. drum that rotated, motor, a float inside, some stuff, a bypass that came from the furnace, and there's a hole cut for where this, with usually only four or six screws, hold the humidifier to the furnace, and all that transfers the air through is behind this float is a simple hole. Okay, remove the water line. Notice the furnace is turned off at this time. Remove the electrical line and it is just low voltage. This is 24 volts that's coming to power this humidifier. So I don't want to short these out so I turn the furnace off. So electrical and water line have been removed. Drains removed. This unit's got six screws. We have the wires in the safe place. We let the furnace come back on and here it is. That's it. It's all that connects a, a humidifier to the furnace. So the humidifier comes with a template. So we put the template over the old hole. Now if we had problems, the hole was wrong, the ductwork was in worse shape, we could just get a piece of sheet metal, bigger, cover the old hole, and then cut our new hole in the new piece of sheet metal. This is a cold air return. This is just the duct for furnace. This is no big deal. Trace the hole out under the ductwork. Get a decent pair of tin snips. Our hole's cut. Does not have to be real perfect. This is a cold air inlet. We gotta get these little fingers to go behind. It sits just like that now. This return here for summer and winter airflow. For in the winter, this vent's gonna be open so air can bypass through the filter. In the summer, this will be closed. This cover here is reversible. Just kidding right-handed or left-handed. Show you that this can go on either side of your furnace. You can get self-tapping sheet metal screws or drill little pilot holes into the sheet metal and now our screws go into the sheet metal. Okay, now I'm going to use six screws. I'm going to secure it in place. All right, this is just a little reminder. This unit came with just brass ferrules for my tubing. And when I'm doing poly tubing, I want a poly ferrule. And there's a stiffener in here, you see, that helps reinforce the plastic so when we tighten it, the ferrule doesn't crush the tubing. This looks fine. We're going to reuse it and check for leaks. If you are nervous, uh, use copper tubing to feed the humidifier rather than poly. Uh, I'm working with what I have, so I'm just showing you I can reuse old stuff. So don't use the brass ferrule if it comes with one. Should we hook up the water line? There is no polarity to this electrical. This is a 24 volt line. This is an electric valve. When it gets 24 volts, the valve opens and water will come in. Cascade, come to the top of the unit, cascade through our filter and drain out. Life is good. I'm just giving you a heads up. There's no hot, negative, or positive, or neutral to a 24 volt line. This humidifier does come with the new humidistat and a new transformer. That which turns transforms 110 volts down to 24. We happen to know that both those are good in this unit, so we're taking advantage of reusing the old humidistat and the old transformer, but we're going to save them for the day when maybe something fails. So here we go. We have the water hooked up. We have the electricity hooked up. Let's see if we have any leaks. In a half of an hour, we've got the old one off. We cut the hole, six screws. We put the new one on the furnace. We rehooked up the water and electricity. 
Not bad. So when this unit runs, water's going to come out this hole here, and it's going to hit right on top of this spot. And it's just like the old marble game. The water's going to cascade to these holes, so it equally comes down and squirts the pad through all those holes. Then the water cascades through, goes to the bottom drain hole. When we install the pad, the pad goes in the drain hole, snaps in place. This being a 6 inch and the old being a 5 inch. I have two ways of going with this plan. I can either replumb this, if this was a bigger house and I wanted all the airflow I could get, I would replumb this with a 6 inch pipe. This is just a 1100 square foot condo. I'm not moving a truckload of air, so I'm just going to get a 6 by 5 adapter and that's how we're going to hook the duct work up. And we're on summer mode now, there's winter mode. So we put these two together with a reducing adapter, there it is, in less than an hour. I've gone from a crappy old humidifier to a newer, more modern flow through. So if I feel I'm not getting any humidity, a quick way to check your humidifier is while the furnace is running, I turn the humidistat down to off. I pop up the filter and I can turn the humidistat on and I can check for water flow. I'll do that again real quick. Turn on the humidistat, turn off the humidistat. I got a quick visual to make sure that, yeah, I must have good electrical, I must have good water, maybe there's another problem. We've actually gone through and turned down the valve just a little bit, so we're watching the water drain out of the humidifier, and we've tried to adjust it to a small trickle. So you can adjust that water flow, do it again. That's how much water is just going through the pad. You can tweak the valve, and then wait a minute for all this to equalize, and then check the hose so that you're using as little water as possible. The other issue is, is you want to get humidity in the house. Don't be too scotched with the water or you won't get any humidity. Now, the electricity to the solenoid valve will not happen unless the humidistat is turned on and the furnace is running on heat mode and the fan is blowing. Once it goes to heat mode, then it sends 24 volts to the humidistat and that'll turn on the solenoid valve. Quick, easy, keep your furnace up to date. Quick tips from MrHardware.com.